December, another phase of TF-102 armament tests was concluded at Holloman Air Force Base. Working in cooperation with Air Force personnel, the contractor's representatives were able to prove out yet another feature of the United States Air Force's only side-by-side -side transitional jet trainer. The tests were concerned with separation effects of DVA GAR-1 Falcon missiles on the aircraft. Also of concern was the effect on the missile itself when being fired at the supersonic speeds flown by the TF-102. Extensive preparation was made at the contractor's San Diego facility. At Holloman, it's the start of another firing day. Following pre-flight checkout, the aircraft is turned over to the armament crew. The first Falcon case is opened and one of the 111-pound missiles is set in place for testing. The igniter circuit is checked before the missile is mounted and armed with the igniter. Next, circuits terminating at the umbilical contacts are tested. The two-man loading crew easily loads the first of six Hawkins and makes sure the bird is properly seated on the launcher. A special tool is used to insert the igniter into the motor. The igniter's wires are then connected to the missile circuitry. The missile is now fully armed and capable of delivering its lethal blow. have been conducted at speeds over Mach 1. Here, however, we see at slow camera speed a firing at Mach 0 0.9. Having successfully completed the Falcon firing tests, bay doors of the TF-102 are currently being refitted for firings utilizing 2.75 rockets. 